Keep continuing on to stay alert, um, but uh, at this time, you know, we're kind of doing well defensively. We're getting in good shapes. And that will be the first goal of the game. I thought we might see an offside there, but Irvin Herrera, who came into this game as the leading goal scorer for St. Louis, has tacked on another one. He now has 12 on the year as it's 1-0 St. Louis FC. Josh, I thought this one was, was pretty close. Thought maybe he was ahead of it. Saw the entry right there. And it might have just been on. There's a chance for a crosser. And that will make it 2-0. Irvin Herrera again as he puts goal number 13 in the back of the net. And things have gone from bad to worse for San Antonio FC as they now trail two to nothing. Josh, I don't think anybody was expecting this kind of beginning probably on either side. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Um, it looks so like it comes down the on crosser. the left. And then looks like right ball into the top of the, of the PK spot to Herrera. Um, and just looks like, you know, guys weren't able to find him during the cross. He takes it. Drop it off to Salazar over to Castillo. Castillo in the tight window trying to find Carlos Alvarez. Has a shot. Hot shot! And that is the goal that halves the game. Two to one. St. Louis with the lead. But finally, Carlos Alvarez on the far side was able to break through. Got that quick kick. Yeah, it was a great setup by Rafa Castillo. You know, Carlos did well. You know, he had a lot to do with it. You know, he, was dead. he did well with his left foot to go ahead and strike through the ball and find the back post. It was Carlos Alvarez that scored the one goal on Sunday night against Arizona. So he is as hot as you want a player to be offensively. No call. It looked like Rafa got tripped up a little bit, but. Here's a crosser to Herrera. Not the guy that you want to have there. And three to one. Urban Herrera with a hat trick. And St. Louis gets on the board first here in the second half. Yeah, I mean, as you see it, Herrera gets a turn and is able to run at uh, the defenders. And, uh, and as you see it coming up on the one foot. Gets past one man. So it was first it was Brennan, then it was Gunderson, and then it's some acrobatics. 